Hi, I'm Mark Jarvis, and welcome to the Magic of Magic's review of Stabbed and Shot by Bill Abbott. With Stabbed and Shot, you find a selected card in an unusual manner, and then magically produce a shot glass of liquid. Let's watch Bill Abbott perform Stabbed and Shot, and we'll be right back to talk more about this one-two punch. Most card tricks go, you pick one, you know, you stick it back in, and the guy finds it. But there's not, a, there's not really any challenge to that as a magician, to be honest with you. I, I'm trying to be honest. I know it's impossible when you just assume that I'm lying all the time. <laughs> but of 52 different cards, these cards are all different and they're all mixed up. Now, I don't want you to believe that or I, want, I don't want you to just assume that. I actually want you to shuffle them. When you're satisfied to shuffle, just place them on the table right here. Now, to be honest, I'm going to ask you a question. Are you satisfied they're mixed? No. You're, you're not. No. You're, you know what? And you're smart. You're probably you're you're probably a skeptic. I know so. women. So. <laughs> wow. 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 <laughs> if you knew women, you'd know they like don't like to be insulted. I'm just joking. They do. Okay. Okay. Um, but, but in all honesty, I might have gave her. I might have said, you know, take five bucks and just pretend to shovel them. So you really, you really mix okay. them. Give them, give them like a solid one of those two things or whatever, whatever you want, whatever you're into, whatever you like doing. That's fantastic. Now, if that's not, if that's not good, I don't know what. It, oh, oh boy. <laughs> No. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. Let's give her a round of applause. Guys. It was uncanny how good you were. Um, I'm going to get you to select a card. Because in most magicians, it's sort of like they don't let you touch the cards. And then when you select the card, it's going to be absolutely random. So as I run my thumb along here, you just say stop when you feel like it any time. Stop. This is, your, this is where you want me to stop. Take the card out. Do not let me see it. Okay? To make this more exciting, it's if it weren't exciting enough, I'm going to get you to take this marker, permanent marker and place your name right on the face of that card. Put it on the white side, not the red side, obviously. Easy, easy for me to find. I'll, I'll turn my back. I won't pee. You will be my witness. <laughs> I'm just going to stare into your eyes if that's OK. That's beautiful. <laughs> All done? All done? I'm taking, I'm, I'm taking back the marker because it's more expensive than the card, frankly. OK. So what I want you to do, rather than me put the card in, because I, you know, I want you to put the card in anywhere you want. Just stick it in. The deck. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Now that's, that's pretty good, but I can kind of see it's about 14 from the bottom. Can you can you really shuffle them again? You did such a great job last time. One more time? Yeah. Nah, I'm just going to do this. Yeah, whatever, man. <laughs> oh, you, you, you've, you've had a, you've had a, with me. I'm sensing the Queen of Diamonds just fell on the ground. I don't know if it's my psychic powers. It did not. Oh. <laughs> Darn. Magic. Perfect. You shuffle them. You suck your card in anywhere you want to. I'm going to try to find the card. I usually do this under the cover of darkness. Um, Unfortunately, we can't turn the lights off because we're filming. So we're going to use this uh, paper bag uh, that I brought from home. I actually used this at lunch. <laughs> it's tuna, I think. Oh, that's salmon. Whatever <laughs> <laughs> it is, it's disgusting. <laughs> I apologize. You're, you're great. You're a trooper. That's what they call a trooper. <laughs> One of the cards is, it is empty? Well, of course it is. Oh, okay. Thank you for asking. <laughs> Good job, Kate. Good job. Okay. <laughs> You want to climb inside and look around? <laughs> no, you can't if you want to. No, no. You, and you know what? And I'm, I'm glad you asked. Oh, okay. Just don't ask. Don't ever ask anything again. <laughs> no tic tacs for you. Absolutely not. All the cards go into the paper bag, and I'm going to try to find the one that's got your name on it. Do you remember your name? Remember the name of your card? It's a double whammy. I'm going to try to find it at the point of this knife. To do this, I need absolute silence. Can you take your Peter pointer in your thumb and hold on to the top of that bag and shake it? You can shake the bag too, that's fine. <laughs> listen for it in the count of one. Oh! 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 The hard thing about this trick is uh, keeping the cards inside the bag. You know, the other part, the hard part about this trick is, is um, doing it without spilling any of it. Mm -hmm. um, the water. <laughs> Cheers, guys. You're awesome. As you just saw, with Stabbed and Shot, a spectator selects and signs a card, which you have them shuffle into the deck. You place the deck into a paper bag that you've shown to be completely empty. Then, you reveal a knife and stab it right through the bag, skewering your spectator signed card. If that isn't enough, you reach into the bag and amazingly produce a shot glass of liquid, which you proceed to drink. Stabbed and Shot is an excellent effect. 
When your spectator signs their selected card and shuffles it back into the deck, they have total control of the cards. The method used to find your spectator's signed card and skewer it through the bag is incredibly easy, requiring no sleight of hand. To top off your performance, the production of the shot glass is truly stunning. Stabbed and shot requires a load. However, the moves are so well choreographed that even you'll be amazed that you've produced a shot glass of liquid from an empty bag. The load happens naturally, without any awkward palming or difficult slights. There are no strings, pulls, or clothing requirements. The gimmick used in conjunction with the glass is well thought through for the effect. You won't find any plastic wrap or rubber bands. The gimmick is made to last and resets in seconds after the glass is refilled. There is no risk of spilling any liquid throughout the performance. You will remain completely dry, no matter where you decide to put this in your routine, at the beginning, middle, or the end. With Stabbed and Shot, you receive the glass in the accompanying gimmicks. Stabbed and Shot is a great effect. They can be performed close up, strolling, stand up, and on stage. The magic has such strong and natural misdirection that it can be performed surrounded. Hands down, this is one of the most memorable effects you'll ever perform, and I guarantee you'll hit it out of the park. I recommend Stabbed and Shot.